Good morning, afternoon, and evening, everyone. This is Hippie Tesla, and tonight we're continuing our adventures in Silent Hill for the room. Yeah, I've said everything. I no, I didn't definitely, but I said a lot about this game last time. I'm trying to avoid repeating myself. But yes, I do love this game <laughs> more than Silent Hill 3. Um, also because it brought something new. Uh, I think the change to the formula was a good one. One thing I don't like, like a lot of people, is that what was, you know, contemporary Japanese horror movies of the time, that stop-motion, grainy look, but it's somehow limited to this game, so I don't want to say I tolerate it, I almost like it, but I also like fluid FMV cutscenes from old games, so <laughs> I'm kind of split on that one. Everything else, though, I love that the you walk around in the room <laughs> uh, in first person that, you know, the view change shifts to the third person once you're somewhere else. And we're going to a new location. Speaking of that, last time we visited two different worlds. Wow, that's like, holy shit, that's, yeah. Gotta get used to that high vertical sensitivity and <laughs> a low horizontal one. Um, the Subway World, and these are named by the game. I'm not giving them names. They're actually what they're called in the game. Subway World and Forest World. Oh, he's doing something. That's our superintendent, Frank Sutherland. If you missed it last time, he's got suspiciously the same last name as James Sutherland from SH2. Uh, we have all these bloody prints and two new ones, which I mentioned two other worlds where in both worlds we've seen a person die and Henry reacted as Henry does with, they're like, ah, oh, help me, Henry. And he's like, oh, what? And then he wakes up. He's like, oh, shit, man, I'm home again. So that happened twice already. <laughs> Let's see if Henry gets to help someone for a change. Ah, oh, I didn't read the first one. I think I can hear children's voices. Important. Okay, the hole's gonna get more, way more convoluted now. It's gonna go... More and more throughout the game. Or no, it's gonna go... Oh, there, there we go. Just a few twists and turns. Okay, yeah. <laughs> As the game progresses, it's gonna have more twists and turns. And yes, you can skip the whole transitions. Only first time when you go through it, you actually have to crawl. Did I? Yeah, okay. Game volume, mic volume, everything is good. Hello, Henry. You poor saw. Henry Townsend, man, a man in perpetual hangover. <laughs> this is an interesting level, and I didn't... Oh. He's not really doing good. Okay. Welcome to the cylindrical prison. Now the prison was actually... Holy shit, I forgot about these guys. Yeah, this is where bottle comes really in handy against these, like... Moldy enemies, I forgot their names. Hear that? So, this level was actually uh, designed upon something that really existed, or at least was proposed by an English architect. It's called a panopticon, it's a cylindrical prison. The idea is to have as few guards there we go as possible. Uh, watch over as many inmates as possible. And it, it's... What was that? It was a revolutionary idea, but um, it's controversial. 
in that oh, broken yeah a lot of them are gonna be dead I'm gonna have some new enemies here so it's controversial because well you know if you can have one guard oh what's that look over like 20 inmates I think it was like forgot the number there's an exact number on the plan and everything you can actually find it in the Wikipedia pretty sure uh, but on in other places online if you're interested uh, basically in the center is the guard room and you know through the holes they can see they can monitor multiple prisons in a circle and the prisoners can tell when they're being monitored which is like a psychological trick it makes them it's pushing them to behave as if they're constantly watched. So, you know, you can smell where the controversy is coming from. Graffiti, it looks like a kid's writing. I'm being watched from the middle room. That's it, okay? There's some leeches here. Someone's watching over us. I can't remember which bed exactly, but it's one of the beds. It's actually one of the rooms you can't access normally. So, I don't think that's going to be in the first run of the... What's that? There's a sloppily written note. There's a sloppily written note on the ground. Lucky, I finally escaped from the cell. I decided to take a careful look around this building. The scariest place was the first floor basement. There's a kitchen in the northeast, but next door in the northwest is a death chamber. To get in there, you have to punch in the right numbers. I don't know the numbers, and it was too dark to even see the panel, so I didn't go in. Okay, got a clue. Exploration memo. Someone's complaining about getting killed. Hello, Andrew. Walter. Who's Walter? It's locked. You gonna say something? Andrew? My boy? Aside from that? Okay. I don't think he'll say anything else. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we're, we're gonna try to stop that. No promises, though. I haven't been successful so far, but, uh, you know, we'll do our best. A lot of these cells are empty. The pipe. See how the subtitles fade when you're far away? I love that. Sorry, I can't hear you. Where are we right now? So, two more rooms to check. That one's locked. Oh, yeah, the pipe. That's going to be important as well. He's not going to comment on it now. That's for later then. Yeah, we don't get stun gun for a while then. I just remember it was in the prison. Oh, that's not a good image something's written i'm sick of being watched and then a noose okay you say no more <laughs> there's something about this prison that makes it even more terrifying so to say you're gonna see soon let's get to the double door yeah, yeah, he will. Okay, we got a hole and a note. Sloppily written note, mind you. <laughs> to get to the surveillance rooms in the middle of this complex, you have to use the corpse disposal chutes in the cell. However, on the first and second floors, these cells are locked. That's so the kids wouldn't discover them. Yeah, I remember when I said there's a little thing that makes this prison even more terrifying. Well, it was a prison for children. Yep. So you have to get to the first floor from one of the cells on the third floor. I know how to do it, but it's really a pain. Also, the lights only work on the third floor. Which is where we started. Should we even go up? I don't think there's anything. You know what? Oh, it's locked. Yep, yeah, we can't go there for now. That's going to be accessible later. If I remember correctly, this... Like, all, all these levels are pretty short. The first time around. Oh, 
those are the assholes you know the only reason why i go here there he is is to get all of the map otherwise i wouldn't i might, might get smacked <laughs> or i might be faster than he is because he basically draws the map as you go so i like to make a full circle first time just so you get the map because later that's gonna be a lot harder thanks to a little friend we're gonna did you hear that Ah, uh, okay, didn't trick him that, that time. Sir, okay, that's another ladder. This is another floor, holy hell, yeah, there's several floors here. That one's locked for now. There's another ladder to go down, I mean behind us, this one is where we'd get if we used it for the first time. So I'm not going to do that. Even though these assholes, I forgot their names again. I forgot most of the... Oh man, you wouldn't believe. Like this game, I this is the first time I'm playing it on the actual Xbox, original Xbox. Um, I played it all my life on the PS2. Actually, first time I played it on the PC, then every other of the 20 times on the, on the PS2. And... I played this one on the Xbox 360 through backwards compatibility, but because it's like software emulation, this game specifically has issue with faces, so they were all like, <laughs> that was the scariest aspect of the game, zombie. So this is the first time I'm ever playing it on the OG uh, Xbox, but uh, with the smaller controller. And uh, it looks so much better, you have no idea. I even booted up the PS2 version, I wanted to stream that one, but then when I looked at it, on this TV and on the stream uh, test compared to the Xbox version, I was like, no, <laughs> it doesn't deserve it. There are a lot of like, you can see where they saved on resources to make it run on the PS2, and it's very jarring with you know HD TVs, especially with the component cables that bring the best picture. They use dithering, which is like every second pixel is not rendered so it gives you like a false transparency because it's like a very tiny grid so it looks transparent on all tvs but on like on stream you would just see a lot of dots where it should be transparent stuff like that so yeah that was a long answer the short answer yeah xbox had way better graphics than the original than the ps2 gamecube had way better graphics gamecube and xbox were actually pretty close to performance and it's noticeable and like Resident Evil 4, which was initially released on GameCube, should have been an exclusive. All the cutscenes on the PS2 version are FMVs, you know, like videos. But on the GameCube version, they're all using the in-game, they're all in-game rendered, they're using the, the in-game engine. So when you put them back, you know, back to back, the, yeah, the PS2 version in Europe for us has uh, the progressive scan, but when those cutscenes start, man, okay, <laughs> they look so much worse than the game, actually. Only you couldn't see it, you know, on the old TVs. But the GameCube version, hook it up now on, like, a, on a HD TV, it'll still look sweet. Saint Medallion, it's gonna get important later. Can be equipped along with a weapon. Anti-spirit effects while held. But will eventually break. Yes. We're going to save these up for now. Because we're going to need them later in the game. I know man. PS2 still had the best support. Like, imagine if Outbreak. Came out. Jesus the sounds. If Outbreak came out on the Xbox. You know because Xbox had a hard drive. By default. Um, it's only a 20 gigabyte hard drive. So games like Final Fantasy 11. Were not released because they wanted. Oh fuck the hummingbirds. They couldn't display, you know, their full power, so to say. No, oh, not that, sorry. I'm thinking about the hummingbirds. They couldn't They couldn't fit because there was like one PS2 installable game. It's a key. Take this key. Not for now. I'm expecting those hummingbirds, though. Oh, there they are. Come here, you little assholes. There we go. One. Oh, he's going to sting me. No, the other one. 
Fuck, Henry, you blind ass. Urgh. So, for instance, FF11 required the hard drive on the PS2. That's why we never got it in Europe. Because it had to install a lot of stuff. And it was the first console game with updates and all that. But Outbreak could have flown, you know, could have totally flown on, on the Xbox. It would have looked better. It would have been like, because all these games use the hard drive. You can't take out the hard drive, right? It's part of the system. So they all use it at least to preload. So Silent Hill 4 loads like 10 times faster on. I'm, I'm, I don't think I'm even <laughs> exaggerating too much. Loads so much faster on the Xbox. Because I don't know if you remember, you could play with the loading screen. Uh, move that. What was it called? The Mark of Samael? Mark of. No, I forgot. Mark of Thanatos? No, that's not the right game. <laughs> Fuck you, hummingbirds. <laughs> Assholes. So, yeah, bottle. All the way bottle for this. There shouldn't be anything here now. Just a big locked door. Yep. Look at how this runs. It run, runs amazing. I can't open it very wide. Can you even push it at all? Because you're saying not very wide, but... Damn, so dark. Any weapons or anything? You can't tell, because when Henry's running, it always looks like he's seeing something. This is gonna be... Generator isn't working. This is gonna be... Sight of a... Uh, this is where we're gonna fight a boss. Hey, you assholes. I didn't step on them, so they're alive. God damn it, fly to my level. I dare you. I double dare you, assholes. Uh, how did you miss that? Yeah, there you go. So the bottle is the first thing you get in this game, zombie. I don't know. You, I know you said you didn't play anything past SH3. Mm. You get it, it's like a wine bottle you find in your fridge. You hit some dogs with it, you're like, no, this shit ain't working. You can keep, ow, asshole. You can keep hitting, though. Eventually it'll break, becomes the broken bottle, and then it becomes, in my opinion, the second most powerful weapon in the game. Not powerful, but the second most useful weapon in the game. There's something written on the plate. To turn on the lights on the third floor, cells turn this water wheel. Remember that the water must flow in the direction of the water wheel. Of course, you also have to open the slice gate on the roof. Copy the uh, water wheel room plate message to your scrapbook. Okay. Where's that key now? We've seen a key here, haven't we? It's a key. Take this key. Yeah. Water prison, water prison exit key. Okay, so the map will tell us how the wheel is oriented. So we want to turn on one of those corners on the upper floors. Actually, we need to align the whole thing. Okay, is this? Maybe this This is after, after all where we get the... Uh, I'm not sure now. Where we get the stun gun. We'll do a lot of exploration. Now we can use this and just make a shortcut. Because now everything's on the map, so no need to unnecessarily take damage with the with the most annoying enemy in the game. Yeah, most annoying. More annoying than the fucking ghosts. I stand by that. Can you... Yeah, well, give me the description. What was it like? Back? Key found in the water wheel room. Okay, yeah. So I'm guessing. Yep. Let's run around again. There's gonna be some... At least hummingbirds, if not other enemies here. Wait. I kind of feel like I've missed a few floors of this prison. Yeah, I definitely have. Hold on a minute. I started on... Oh no, this is first floor. Holy shit, we're... We're yet to go up? Okay, I haven't missed anything. <laughs> Alrighty. There we go, the Panopticon. In all its glory. Does it work? Actually, I'm not sure. 
Probably does. Okay, yeah. Time for the new enemy. So if you remember, I mentioned when we played Silent Hill 2 that some of the documents we read... <laughs> They're up, Henry. Oh, you blind fuck. So unlike the... Unlike the, uh, the pipe, the bottle will just squish them right away on the walls. Broken. Okay. Also good for for these assholes. Oh, we got one of them here. You can't step on it until you hit it. Is that it? Can you just step on it like? Oh, nope. Take some damage. Okay, good to know. How does the pipe do it? I want to remember. Kind of has a shorter range. That's yeah. That's why the bottle actually works so well, because he'll sprung forward to like stab with it. It's like a knife. Broken. Okay. <laughs> there we go. When we read the document at somewhere at the beginning, in the first episode of Silent Hill Two. Look, that did it. <laughs> I mentioned it's a kind of foreshadowing for SH4, and it's gonna make sense because we're gonna see the two children it was talking about. How the fuck? Why are you aiming? Okay, so it's like a weird angle. Can you even, like... Nope. Or that. I don't know why I did that that time, but... <laughs> Good enough for me. It's a diary. I've been watching the surveillance room peephole this, the whole time, and sometimes he's there. I can tell because he, I see a shadow move or hear his footsteps. Well, you don't have to, but they will squirm all over and they will inflict damage. And there's going to be harder enemies. So if you remember from Silent Hill 2, there's this... That always scares me. There's this file that talks about Billy and Miriam Locaine killed by a certain Walter Sullivan. Well, we're going to see them, or what's left with of them. What they are right now. The bottle's filled with black powder. This also ties in into Silent Hill 3. There's a document from Silent Hill 3 you fi find that talks about the level... Um, that we had in the last episode, and this one, this one I'm playing, whoa, right now. God damn it, Henry. I don't know what's the angle for that, okay, just tap A around them, noted. I remember you could step on them. The bottle is still the best for killing them, whoa. Okay, Henry, he's up, can you see him? Oh. Charge, release. Nope. How about here? They normally fall when you're near them, and you know that's actually what. There we go. We'll leave that guy alive for now. He's too high up. They will randomly damage you when you step on them, so that's why I try to kill them all. Shit, where are they coming from? Okay. So, I haven't tried some doors, really? There we go. Something written on paper is, look, still looks, it still looks like a kid's writing. I peed in my pants. I gotta wash them so nobody finds out. Oh, I just saw a shadow. I think someone saw me. And you can see where he dried his clothing and some blood. And those footsteps. Hey, John. Sorry, man. Yeah, uh, 
I wasn't sure if you're busy and it takes me a whole 15 minutes to switch from console to console for these like old consoles because I got to realign the picture and all that. So I went ahead with Silent Hill 2. Man, damn. It's okay, we'll do it over the weekend. Honestly, yeah, I treasure being a, you being a father of two and and working night shifts. A father of two that works night shifts. I treasure every fucking moment we can play. Just like with Zombie, with his... <gasps> where did you guys crop up from? With his weird shifts. Why did they regrow? They shouldn't regrow. Or maybe they should. Look at that fast guy. Step on him, Henry. Step on him. He'll hurt you. Come on. So, do we check all these pipes? Yeah. Hmm, it's not showing. Yeah, I see. It just left the text. Oh, there's the pipe. I want to note this pipe. Let's go to the third floor. Wow, they're regenerating. Never fought mine. Fuck them. You're right, zombie. I'll just kill those that are on the floor. Like, directly in front of me. Come on, hummingbirds, I fucking dare you. I have a I have a best toy food for you. Ah, uh, motherfucker. What do you want, huh? You too, sir. And you. Ooh, step on three, step on three. Come on, Henry. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's unfair this how this bottle works. Oh, there we go. Why did it work that that time? What did you change? Uh. Assholes? Flying ash holes. Floor number three. I think we're about to meet Billy and Miriam zombie. If you remember the document where it says a guy killed two twins. Two twins? Really? They haven't been four twins? Are you sure me? Killed twins like a twin children in the middle of the street in the middle of the day well that guy is the main antagonist of this game and those children were we're gonna see them a lot of them <laughs> among other victims you know all those handprints that we've seen outside the apartment all of those all the owners of door, those oh there they are i saw them i saw a glimpse of them okay let's not jump now let's just see where it leads leads to a cell i haven't been to yeah okay so the stun gun is going to be in one of those, like that. But I think it's in the second. There they are. Look at them. They're, they are the twins. Whoa. I got to be faster than they are. And the bottle is best for that. They're like, no, please leave me alone. No. No, sir. Oh. See? See, that's why I killed them. See what happened with, with that one asshole on the floor? Now step on them. And it's not like there's... So there are ghosts of all his w victims in this game, right? I'm kind of spoiling your head, but for you, zombie, I'll do it. <laughs> and uh, not all of them are indestructible. You can't kill them. You can only... There's a certain item you can use to um, pin them. Already what? Uh, don't, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I think you, I know what you mean. There are certain items you can use to like pin them, like stop them in their tracks, but you can't kill the ghosts. Any ghost, except for the twins. There will be a lot of twins. There's going to be even a room that's just filled with like 20 of them. There's something written on the paper. Now it will look like I'm sleeping. Huh. Were those footsteps? I wonder if they saw me. Why? Because you put your jacket there? It's okay, man. It's 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 okay, John. I, I figured I know how busy you can be. Remember, I had I raised four nephews before I retired. <laughs> so, I completely understand. It's hard to even plan and... Okay, shit. And that's why I said I'm grateful we catch any mi minute to play. Look at all those leeches. Fuck him. Oh, there's more Billy and Miriam. What? Not that way! Not that way! Fuck the leech! Kill the kids! Priority on the children. They're the future. 
of your coffin if you don't take care of them. It's horrible. They're literally like Siamese twin and twins in Walter's world. Fuck yeah. Oh. And they walk kind of on their hands. And this is not their worst version. No. Near the end of the game, they're going to get even worse, zombie. Yep, we want the pistol bullets. Oh shit, that guy. Oh shit, there's a lot of them. I didn't even see. Holy fuck. Oh, I got my ass handed to me. By the booty clappers. Can you stab them? Should I even try? You know what? I'm feeling brave. Can you kill them? Yeah, I, if I remember correctly, you can kill them. Like that. Like good timing. Oh, or just fucking leave them. <laughs> Don't let your vanity get the better of you. Best of you? Better of you? Best of you? Oh. My idioms are broken. Well, these rooms all open. They're encouraging. And a lot of them have holes, so... Don't remember if you... So we're gonna rotate the prison. And... I don't remember if you actually find it in the first... Holy shit, the... Uh, fun guy. I think this game has the best walking and fighting mechanics of them all. Like, of all the survival horror games of this type, not just Silent Hill games. Etch a diary. We had beef stew yesterday in the cafeteria. That's not a... It should be a kid. We had beef stew yesterday. In the cafeteria, I heard there's a dead chamber behind the kitchen, and they take meat straight from the dead people and... Okay, yeah, the, that's, this voice is too creepy for this. And cook it. That really scared me. Holy shit. Oliver Twist with a twist. You put the prison diary. Okay, yeah. I'm in trouble. I stood in front of the surveillance room and yelled as loud as I could, but nobody came out. They just walked and watched in silence, I assume. Gotta touch all those corners. I know, I know I'll find at least one item hidden in. Are you are you coming on to me, Leech? Cause I don't I don't date whatever your species is. What are leeches? Amphibians? No. There are clothes lying here. That's it. Oh yeah, that's gonna be important. There's graffiti here. It still looks like a kid's writing. I got no clothes on. Why though? I, that one's hidden. Good thing I found it. I guess the guards had a party last night. So we're done full circle. Yeah. We got three holes. And three holes. <laughs> and then I'm going to go up to see what's up there before I drop down. Going up before you drop down. I don't want to start the prison yet. Oh, hello. Welcome to the party. You know what? I adore hummingbirds. But these hum hummingbirds can kiss my humming ass. They're fucking annoying. One hand we won. This should be the last floor. Yeah, this is gonna be important later. The door won't open. It seems like it's locked from the inside. So, yeah, I'll do that in the end for right now. Can I even turn the prison at this moment? Because to do that, I think I can just open the gates. Actually, let me see how the holes go. I kind of don't think I'm doing that right now. Yeah, the right holes are active, I think. Wait, it needs to be diagonal left to right. There are two there. There's one there. There's one there. Okay, yep. It'll work if I do it. So I can start dropping the hole. Yeah, I think that's in the second run. Well, Prison World Return. Where are the slice gates? Do I even open them here? Because I think I need to start the gen in order to get to Andrew. I just don't remember how you open the slice gates. Or I'm just going to drop... Yeah, I'm going to drop to the holes. That's right. 
yeah, I dropped to the holes to get to B1. But I'm gonna drop, I'm gonna key, save the right hole for last. That sounds weird when you say it out loud, but so does, so do a lot of things that I say, so we'll just roll with it. Save the right hole for the last. Okay, so, yeah, I can't see, so it's those three. I just want to not drop in the wrong, so this, there's two up top and one down left. Two up top, I'll see those, one down left. Two up, okay, so don't go to the one that's on the left. Down left, because that's the right one. Let's start counterclockwise. Ah! You know what? Might be a good idea to use a hole before I go, because I fucked up my health pretty good there. Can I see my health, Henry? How do you check your health? I forgot. Uh, oh yeah, you just aim. Mm, this could go either way, so no, I'm gonna go heal. I'm gonna check if there was something with the apartment. If I didn't fuck up there, I wouldn't have to do this, but... Go down. Forget it. <laughs> I love that reply. Forget it. You know what? Fuck your ladder. Forget it. <laughs> Anything here to pick up? I didn't even check. I don't want to end up like Kevin <laughs> in your game under the road zombie with Mammoth. <laughs> From what I understood, he did that on purpose. It was funny as hell. It was just like, ah, thank you. <laughs> <sighs> how are you guys though yeah you guys ask me how am i how i am and i and i'm fucking selfish <laughs> how are you too zombie and john oh my fucking hangover every goddamn time i go to sleep i hear something i wake up oh yeah new comments we should have new comments could that forest world have been somewhere in this photo of Sun Hill? Oh no, they didn't change. Yeah, I already checked the new comments. I wonder, I wonder if there's a connection between Sun Hill Church and the orphanage in the forest. Scraps from magazine. I don't remember why I cut them out. Especially useful to save. Yeah, I've seen all of these. Ooh, oatmeal. Mmm. Nice. Bon appetit. Lucky tourist. There are no lucky tourists in Silent Hill, man. You don't know shit, Henry. Gotta dump those bullets in medallion. Neighbors? Oh yeah, this is the street of identical infinituplets. I don't know. Oh, you have twins, triplets, quad quintuplets, quadruplets. Pardon me. Quintuplets, sextuplets, what I don't know how many... I don't know what's the maximum number of children uh, a, a Homo sapiens womb can carry, but uh, there are a lot of identical people on this street. <laughs> Look at that. We have two of them meeting each other right now. They're not going to even stop to say, uh, yep, one big family. In fi and there's another of their brothers, sisters across the street behind the red car. Yep, there you go. One giant family and the authentic two cars. <laughs> the RNG isn't really good with like uh, dividing, you know, divvying up the the people. But the neighbors are real. Oh, look at the video game guy going wild. Yeah, we're gonna meet them all later in a way. Richard, is Richard there? He's not there. Oh, the video game guy is going. I think that's the video game guy. He's going. He's having a one man party there. Okay, well, nothing's changed in the in the room. Well, here at least. Might be something on the radio and TV. Yeah. I don't remember turning this on. I don't remember pressing the button on the remote. Do you remember anything, Henry? Because you remember very few things. I'm glad, buddy. I'm glad you love it, too. A lot of Silent Hill people did this 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 game for a few reasons, but I think the only one that actually stands up in my eyes is that Japanese 
to contemporary, you know, horror thing with the stop motion blurry videos. Like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> but other than that, I love this game. These books are mine, but I this bookshelf was here when I moved in. That is actually important, all these comments he's making. They're going to make a lot of sense later. Well, most of them. Why, with the clock stop, my sense of time is all screwed up? That's just a fact. That's just a darn fact. It always gave me the chills. I remember first time I played it, John. It was a cloudy day like this one in the game. And uh, there was nothing to do. So I was like, ooh, yeah, I have that new Silent Hill game I couldn't play because I worked 12 hour shifts back then at the airport. So uh, I was like, hell yeah. And I spent all night playing it. And evening and night and evening was just like this oh there's the there's robbie again blood robbie haven't seen it ever, ever before and now two times in a row we see him flying there look at him i think there are more random things you can see through the window we just never catch them yeah there's robbie with the bloody eye that bit the bloody robbie reminds me a lot of donnie darko you know why if you watch donnie darko well, neighbors are gone. I think they don't like me looking at their homes. Eileen? Will I see you in my dream? Oh, there she is. What is she doing? Half of this game, zombie is voyeurism. Just like, justified. You know, I'm trapped in the room. I have to look through the little hole. <laughs> She's just, is that a phone? She's reading? Fucking that that can't be two thousand four. Oh yeah, this picture. So zombie. I don't know how much you know about Sun Hill Four. She's just gonna sit there. Sometimes other things happen, but yeah. But check this out. I got this photo from Sunderland. So this is the third comment on this photo. Every time you uh, go back from the hole from another world, they, he will have different comments, which. It's actually, yeah, he got that from Heather, probably. I got this photo from Sunderland, the superintendent. I heard his son, uh, I'm sorry, his daughter-in-law disappeared. His daughter, son and daughter-in-law disappeared in Sun Hill a few years back. I think you know what he means. Who disappeared with his dead wife in Sun Hill a few years ago? Well, I don't know how many years ago, but yeah. That's our building. Pretty old building. Let's do, peek through the window and... Oh, a new note. Nice. The red diary. Scrap of red paper stuck in there. I love the thing about... Yeah, James. So, yeah, Frank is his father, but you know that. You do know that, right? Of course you know that. Lately, I've been feeling like my wa li wife? Life, like my life is in serious danger. I've been through a lot in my life, but I've never felt this kind of pure animal fear. In case something happens to me, I've decided to write down what I've learned for whoever you are that's living in the apartment now. I've been investigating the mass murder that took place seven years ago in which ten people were killed in ten days. Now, these red diary notes are going to be like a fucking math problem. Because you got to catch... If you want the full story, you read the whole diary at the end of the game... It reveals a lot, reveals some things about SH2, probably, I think, and definitely about 3, because you read an article from this guy in Silent Hill 3. John remembers that, because we read it together a couple, a week, two weeks ago, when we were in that SH3 part in the hospital. Oh, fuck, I see something, hold on, I see something's wrong with the cam in my eyes, I look like a fucking Silent Hill monster, just give me a second, I forgot to turn the lights on. <laughs> There we go. There we go. I see some things like we're. I know I'm wearing a white shirt, which is not recommended for you know any camera work, but it was still kind of dark. <laughs> so they were killed in a, vari a variety of ways, but the one thing they had in common was that each corpse had the following numbers in order of their deaths carved into them. 0, 11, 21, 0, 21, 21, 0, 31, 21, and so on and so on. The name of their killer it was carved in as well. His name was Walter Sullivan. April 4th. Okay, that's the weird putting date afterwards, but 
What do I know? So the numbers, yeah, I think anyone would anyone has figured out by now, but oh, so you, and they don't go in order. We're gonna read them in order later. So the numbers, we've seen them on two people that died as well. They had their numbers, but if you have any it's not one in the middle, it's supposed to be slashed, like one out of twenty-one. And uh why? Well, stay tuned and find out. <laughs> But yeah, nobody in Silent Hill 4 universe was smart enough to figure it out. I don't even know. It's not even smart. It's like comp alive enough to figure that out. And you can count the hands here as well. We got two new ones, I said, for the people. Frank still cleaning. Yeah, that's... Sorry, I got out. You might be able to look at his face. It's probably gone now. Yeah. Yeah, well, there will be a point where you can take a closer look at his face and you can see that it's... He looks a lot, a lot like James as well. Is there someone in the shower? Of course there's no one in the bathtub. No water from the faucet either. Just the typical stuff you find around the sink, nothing particularly interesting. And do you want to pee? There's no time for that right now. <laughs> Why? Why not? Back to the hole, okay? I've healed. So right now, I mentioned it before, but right now, whenever you go back to the room, it will heal you. Right now. Later, it's gonna do the opposite thing. Okay, let's... Let's bring this up to speed. Yeah, I know I'm dicking around too lot, but I just I just like one of the th my pa one of my passions with streaming is talking about these games. I like knowing about games, not just the lore, the development process, all that, but I also like sharing it with people. That's that just makes me happy for for you know for doing it. <laughs> it's coming on to me again. <laughs> Where was that? That's this one, okay. So let's check some rooms that we couldn't by dropping down into them. That was that's James's thing. You can't you can't oh man, you stole someone else's thing. Make your own thing. So can't open. Is there anything here? Yeah, it's gonna be in one of those. So the stun gun is gonna be in one of rooms, just like this one, but it's gonna be after you move it. It is something like I love that. Um, so grateful that the you know, as time passes, video games are recognized more and more as a form of art, and they should be, because they combine the. Visual, audio, a lot of games that we play, John, they have fucking whole tomes of books written in them, especially JRPGs like Final Fantasy, all that, th yeah, I know it's not the same as reading the book, but still, you know, there's, you can... You know what I mean, like old old school Final Fantasy games. Sorry, I'm getting tired in my brain. I've been active all day, and my brain's just giving up. Uh, especially old school FF games before voice acting. You'd read all that shit, and there was a ton of story. I don't know anyone who plays Final Fantasy, especially classic Final Fantasy games, and goes, "Yeah, I'll skip, skip, skip." I just want to get to the battles. Yeah, <laughs> you know. So. I'm glad video games are admitted as, as a form of art. Finally. Especially when you take games like Final Fantasy VI, Chrono Trigger, Chrono Cross, FF9, Silent Hill games, all of them. Even Silent Hill 3. Fuck it. <laughs> Wait, what floor is this? Damn it, did they jump in the wrong one? Ah, oh, yeah, I can always go back. How do you fuck that up? You should have gone in the upper hole. Oh, man. Oh, shit. Sorry. Oh, shit. I didn't see it. Oh, 
Okay, they're not really agile. Oh, or maybe sometime. Ah. Oh. So I have some iframes when I'm doing the. Step on him, step on him. Okay, now take care of the other one. No, you're hitting the wrong one, Henry. Okay. Fuck you, my bottle is all powerful. Power of booze. Shit, shit, shit. Oh, okay. Whoo! Can I get out? Let's look around. Sorry, when... When they ask... When who asks? People who don't like to... People who skip cutscenes? <laughs> behind is there anything on this wall like a door no no ammo nothing so this room is just there so you can drop into it now it's unlocked and yeah I can go back check the room just in case there no not there behind me. yes just in case there's some ammo which will be very necessary later not with the stun gun and the and the bottle but still Yep. So, okay, I, I, I understood that correctly, yeah. This stupid game doesn't work. You can't, it's broken. They didn't finish it. You can't beat this. <laughs> I like, that's why I, one of my favorite sections from Metal Gear Awesome, when it goes like, yeah, dude, you know, at the end of the first one, I don't know what to do. <laughs> well, you gotta look at the back of the CD case for Meryl's codec number. How the fuck was I supposed to know that? Well, Colonel told you. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I love that. Do I even want to go on now? When I've been beaten senseless by... by children? Whee! <laughs> Imagine that. I should make a sound effect. Whenever he does that, him or James, you just make like, Whee! <laughs> So nothing there. It's gonna be under a bed. I remember that much. So yeah, that was a waste of time. I do know some beds. Uh, under some beds, you can find uh, ammo, but it's not here. Okay. Did I did I even unlock that room? Was it unlockable? I doubt it. But no. Okay. Yeah, yeah, is there... Can you say anything? You know, maybe he's gonna kill you just because he he's annoyed. How dangerous is below, John? You know what? I don't think it's that, that dangerous. I'm gonna do it. Fuck it. If I die, I can just run through this level. They're not that long the first time around. I'm just making them long by talking much and uh, and looking at everything. But... But nothing. Let's see. One, two, right? Yeah. I could have just gone down through the door. <laughs> the door I unlocked to be able to go back easier. But yeah, this works as well. Why not? <laughs> Whee! Whee! <laughs> All that's missing is George's aggressive. Hi! <laughs> hi! Hi! Oh, there's no... None of those now. So now we got a line. We've seen which, the, which ones are broken. How do you open the slice gate, though? Floor number one. There's a document here. This place continues to deter deteriorate. The doors to a number of cells are uh, no longer open. As a result, the kids inside can no longer go outside. But the less they know about that, the better. Jesus fuck. I can't open the doors, but from this room I can watch them get more and more emaciated? What does that mean? Emaciated? Emaciated? I gotta check now. Each day. And, uh, Wonder I didn't learn that word playing this. 
emaciated okay abnormally thin or weak especially because of illness or lack of food yeah i wish i didn't check Ugh. Uh, that's sad okay with no food and ever showering themselves they turn into smelly little gray lumps in there following the suggestion of an engineer we've disposed of the corpses by digging a hole below the cells since eat so that was easier than fixing the doors huh <laughs> Since each floor of this building can be rotated independently, we can dispose of the bodies without the others noticing by aligning each cell with a body in it vertically. P.S. Chief, I bet you're just dying to see the interrogation room behind the kitchen. I understand your feelings, but have you noticed? There are three rooms with bloody beds. One is on the first floor, one is on the second, and one on the third floor. If you line those bed three rooms up, then it's bingo. Yeah, yeah, this is where we get this done. We'll see, we'll see. So I gotta check these rooms. Memorize which have bloody beds. This one has. So on first floor is this one. It's gray because you haven't, so you can see it, he drew a hole in it. It's gray because we haven't been in the room, but he's seen it, so it's kind of faded out. So that gives us, you know, the clue. We're gonna remember it's that room. This one. There's some writing though. Have I been to that one? Yes. Okay. This one here. Also a hole. It's not a bloody bed, just a bloody hole, so that's not it. There's Andrew. Andrew the Silva. So all he can say. So if he had some more interesting dialogue, sure, but just a lot of leeches there's a lot of peeking through holes here a lot of um a lot of symbolism here is well for lack of a better word vaginal because <laughs> a lot of it symbolizes birth and it'll make sense why as we progress through the story which rooms i haven't been to yes 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 so yeah, we've been here, been there, so one here, and we've, we've, we've peeked into that one, I think. Yep, that's where Andrew is. Okay, going up. So the first floor doesn't rotate, but the second and third floors, are you kidding me? What? Forget about it, forget about it. Okay, another floor, another diary. To keep a close eye on the kids, it's important to keep the cells well lit. The lights on the third floor were orig originally bought as searchlights. As precaution against the blackout, they were set up to run on a private generator. There's a hydroelectric generator in the basement. To light up the first and second floors, use the corpse disposal chutes. Oh my god, guys, you skimped more than the government of Serbia. Since each floor of this building can be rotated, you can light up each... No. You can light up any of the cells by matching up the holes. Repeating this periodically is an effective way to keep the kids fearful and well behaved. P.S. Chief, if you turn the handle in the middle of this room, you can easily rotate the cells. You can rotate the first floor, so align the second and third floors with the first floor cell that has the bloodstained bed. By the way, if you use the peephole in this room, it's easy to make sure you're doing it right. Give it a try. Also, please don't forget to open the slice gate on the roof. Much appreciated, Chief. Okay. So yeah, I, don't th I think you're right. I don't think we're turning the power on yet, but we will rotate the prison. So uh, which ones have we, have we not peeked into? The one right here to the left. Which has a hole. But no bloody bed and I'm gonna say the next one here yep no bloody bed though and the next one is oh it's this one there's a three or four on this floor you don't access 
No bloody bed. Next one. There's the bloody bed. Okay. So we're gonna jump in all the ones that we couldn't enter first, and then we're gonna go for the bloody bed puzzle. Okay, so the bloody bed is upper left, right? That means okay, only one. No, that's first floor. Never mind. Bloody bed is. Upper right, not upper left, okay. So three all three whole rooms all all the rooms on third floor are accessible. And mm, so I wanna check the two rooms I haven't been to, okay? And there are two more can I drop into Andrew's cell? You know what? I never tried that. Can we do that? And two, one, two, three unvisited rooms on the first floor. So let's try it like that. Put one unvisited there. Where was that one? Lower. Both of those. Okay. So just push it once to the left. Okay. Or turn it or whatever. This is floor two, right? Yep. Once to the left. Forget about it. <laughs> oh, thanks for the host, John. Sorry, I, I missed it. Thank you so much, man. Jeez. I even looked, and there was the last thing was from yesterday, so yeah, okay. And then I missed it. Even the sound. So now... That's not a room I was into. Oh, yeah, okay. We'll go into that one, drop into that one, and visit that room. Let's do that. Oh, really? Maybe there's another diary, though. Yep. Some kind of memo. Secret number for getting through the door in back of the kitchen this month is 0302. Thanks for your cooperation. How, how secret can it be when you post it there? <laughs> so, floor 3, there's nothing to see. We've seen all the rooms. There's nothing to turn. Thank you, John. I appreciate it. I really do. I don't just say it. It's thanks to you. I know I said it before, but it's thanks to you that I met all these wonderful people. And uh, it's been fun the last month. I won't deny it. It's been kind of elementary school fun almost. That's good to feel. And you know, it's weird, I would probably still be streaming solo with just <laughs> a zombie here <laughs> if you didn't come into my stream and just started uh, chatting one day. I don't know. I don't even remember. It was something like January, February. And that's big. I don't know if you're aware how big that is. The master of ladders. Do the twins respawn? They shouldn't. So we're going to that one. Wait. Count the doors. One, two, third door. One, two, third door. All right. That's the hole that will take us to another hole and to the room. We've been to that room. You fucked it up. Oh, God, you fucked it up. It was supposed to be... The one next to it. Shit. Never mind. I'll still... God fucking damn it. Okay. Arr. <laughs> okay. I was like, yeah, that's that room. I've checked three times already. Going down. Why a loading screen for that? I don't know. You could just... Like, actually go down the ladder? Just a suggestion? Yep. 
Yeah, that's... I think the... This game takes more effort. Is that the right? Yeah, it kind of takes more effort to play because of things like this. So you got to backtrack, you make a mistake, you got to do all of this again. Go up two floors, pray to God, Henry will react to the ladder and then do it all again. To the left was it, right? Counterclockwise, yes. I don't know if the real Panopticon could be rotated. I don't think it could. Uh, it was just like a cylindrical prison. From I know I've seen some like uh, sketches for it from the from the creator. I hope did I align the bloody beds? Nope. The third one. So that's the bloody bed. Avoid that room for now. Okay, let's focus here. I want to do this properly. Lower right. Okay, lower right. Haven't been to. Lower right. Haven't been to. Lower right. Let's confirm the building. You know what? I'm going to set it. So two times. Actually, this works. Why not? This... This floor is okay, there are just two rooms. Third floor, nothing. First floor... One. Okay. So let's start with the Andrew room. That one's gonna be... That one's gonna be... So lower right... Wait. Does that mean it's gonna be... I wanna see what happens if I end up with Andrew. So second floor is aligned. Third floor, move it once, twice to the right. Or just... Or the left. Either way works, actually. Because then we'll have two more rooms on the second floor. That we haven't been to. Yep. The lower right again. Lower right again. So both... Both of them can end up there. Damn, that's confusing. So, he said bloody bed. Okay, yeah. For now, let's just check the room we can't. So, that's lower right on the first floor. Second floor is line. Third floor, go twice to the right, for instance. Doesn't matter. Twice to the right. It's cylindrical, it's gonna end up in the same way. That's why, okay, yeah, that happens. <laughs> Forget about it, let's see, nope. So that one's open now, I'm gonna bet, so yeah. Then let's do the lower right room. That one's okay. I hope I don't miss the stun gun, because that would really suck. It really helps having it in the later portion of the game. But... One next to it. Okay. Tell me you don't have a bloody bed. Nope, okay. So we can trust that one. Should be a room on the second floor. Nope, they all have holes. Except this one right behind me. Kind of think that's the room I want to end up in. Yeah, that's where I'm ending up actually. Gotta rotate the third floor once more. Okay. That's where I want to go first. I want to see what's going to happen. Because it shows closed now. And I think that's where Andrew was. So, once more to the right. Let's find that stun gun. After that, I will feel very safe. Why are you so blind for ladders, Henry? Go down. Go down. 
go down again and then all the way up from the other side I don't think I'll do this today maybe uh, the stun gun I can't remember You're a real people person, Henry. Watching. Centra. I don't know if you noticed the spelling difference. It's because this PAL version they're using the UK spelling. Oh, oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! We could join force, or you can walk away. That also. Oh, uh, there we go. They're cropping up. Shit, I'm gonna be surrounded slowly. Slowly, yeah. Yeah, I can still do it. Okay. Don't follow them yet. We wanna do this. Wanna get the stun gun now if possible. Because Richard, Richard's gonna be. Well, yeah, he's. We're still not close to Richard. Once we get to Richard, we don't have the stun gun. I mean, to the apartment world second time. Oh man, those those monkey enemies, they're so much easier with the stun gun. It's uh, just incredible. Yes, I, I hyped up the stun gun in this game so much because it is very powerful, believe me. <laughs> I can't even... That sound is so <laughs> amazing. So, lower right. Okay, we can dick around with the prison a bit more. That's perfectly okay. Here. That should go there, and then there, yeah. If that cell's open, I'm just gonna rotate it again. Whee! <laughs> oh, I don't know, there's something about the way he jumps, like the physics. He, it's like child's play, you know. James at least looks scary, he's like, whee! <laughs> Scared, brother. But it should be on the second floor. Damn, if I jump in the wrong hole. Yeah, so as long as it's not the bloody bed one. Yeah. Back down, I guess. He's supposed to be introverted and all that, and I think I talked about this uh, last time we played, but, uh... Wait, I came down here, I jumped through the holes, okay, this is kind of like a permanent deja vu. Can't compete with the power of bottle, assholes. Never mind, you're not worthy. So the bloody bed, if I remember correctly, should be this one. Yep. On the first floor. The, the other one I want to jump into here is this one. Come on, letter hater. Oh god, Henry. Was it on this side then? Yep. There's nothing else there, just the ladder. So, we gotta move the third floor once to the left, right? And check where the bloody bed is now on the second floor so we don't do that. 
not here. It's here. So on the second floor right now, it's this one. Okay. And then third floor, we said once to the left, and then jump through. Okay. No! <laughs> God damn it! Up! I guess he really wants to go down. Up. And then up again. Then get on that vault, boy. Where's the bloody bed on this floor? I'm gonna bet it's this one. No, then it's one of the other two. We're turning it one to the once to the left. Now the two rooms are here. One of them is a bloody bedroom. Nope. And then it's this one. Yep, okay. So we're not gonna line them yet. If I do this right, I should end up a room before. Yes, okay. Yes, 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 yes. I think I'm doing it right. Bye, assholes. This is totally optional, by the way. You don't have to do it. But... It will make game the game, especially later, harder like i say the second portion of this game is not kind this first portion the first half kind of it more like introduces you to the new gameplay elements to the characters to the antagonist slowly and then the second half just goes batshit crazy second door okay one two and then and then we do the henry we Wee! Is it here? No, it's the other room. Okay, good to know. Because I'm pretty sure it's on the second floor. It's gonna be the last room I jump in, you'll see. <laughs> now this is first floor. Don't take me out of the prison world. Okay. I should find some ammo and some shit here, though. In the dining hall. That should take me back. Yep. Let's look for some ammo and supplies. That's the dining hall, huh? Let's not go to the kitchen yet. So yeah, one unexplored room, and uh, we said the bloody bed is, you know what, I'm just gonna do it, do that, and then, I don't wanna, I don't wanna end up at the end of the, cause I won't be able to come back for a while, oh yeah, that's a shortcut, if I've ever seen one. Nice. So we said keep the same hole, move the second floor twice to the right, and third floor keep the same. Okay. Twice to the right. Once more. Yes, I believe that's where we'll find our BFG and retire the bottle. 
Or just carry those two. I think it also is like stabs. When hitting, so... Uh, plus it stuns them. Actually stuns them. And like I said, it's especially effective on the monkey enemies. They're not rompers. Rompers were in the first game. These are... Damn it, kill me, and I, I can't remember. So, second door again. And let's get our... Stun gun. It has to be here. Ah! What was it? No? Come on, man. You're the last room I haven't been to. Wait a minute. This is the third floor. Of course it's not here. This is the third floor. Jeez, I'm losing it. It's been a long day. Forgive me. <laughs> I was like, no, that's the last room. Do I need to go through all of them again? Ah, oh, fuck. It's not here. I'm sure it's in one of the, it's on the second floor. There it is. Hell yeah, high voltage stun device. <laughs> I know you know. <laughs> Fairly short range due to its need for direct contact. But what they don't tell you is that direct contact is fucking mm, especially on some enemies. Oh, you can't charge it either, but like the bottle, you can keep the button pressed while in the aiming stance and then just release it when you're ready to strike. It also has it has similar timing as the bottle as well, so it's fairly easy to, you know, to swap between them. And yeah, it's a fucking magnificent weapon. Compared to the stun stun, stun gun in SH3, which admittedly I haven't used much. I tried it like the doggy treats the first time I was playing the game and then I didn't. Uh so I can't fully judge, but I do know that this stun gun is a goddamn masterpiece. Can you even go to the next room? Do I need to align the doors? What do you think, John? Do I just go there? Because I've been through all the doors, so what else is there left to do? Yeah, bottle is better for these guys. But let's not forget the stun gun for the twins. I don't, I don't remember if it stuns ghosts, though, but... Should I try it? You know what? I'm gonna... Yep, this is the scenario end. Oh, no, it's not. Let's do the beds, though. I... Honestly, remember there being some items here. Maybe when I align the holes and the light shines in, he's looking to something though. Oh, looking to the door. Not now. Okay, let's do that bed puzzle. I just, I don't know if what changes, but uh, God damn it, where are my supplies? I'm the bottle master, bitches. Am I alcoholic? Possibly. Ah, I can't believe I did it. No damage. The way they sprung up from the ground. Okay, bloody bed's time. So that one stays, right? The first floor you never move. No, wait. It's here. Or maybe just look at the map. Yeah, it's here. So it's the upper right corner, if I remember correctly. Yep. So align all three bloody beds. And then jump through just to see what happens. Here it was like right there maybe. Yep. So that one goes left or right one, two, three, four times. Okay. 
left because I'm a lefty. <laughs> One. Actually, I'm going to skip these. Yeah, I don't skip these uh, like shortcut scenes usually, but uh, we don't want to watch him do that 50 fucking times. It's number three. And that should be number four. Yeah, wow, it's 10 already, jeez. One should be upper right now, so... Uh, upper right... Wait, how does that work? You rotate the prison around the central, so the central thing doesn't rotate? Like I said, I'm not sure if the real um, Panopticon did that, but... Thanks for the raid, Dizzy. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for the follow, 323. Guilty. Guilty Spark? Hey, Combo Jackson. Hello, guys. Good to see you here. Uh, what was I doing? Floor 3. Floor 3. Go up. And now look for the bloody bed, which is going to be one of those three. I'm going to guess this one. Then I'm gonna get no that I meant this one actually. One with the hole. Yep, so that one just once to the right, and that should be it. Handle turn right. Welcome everyone. Enjoy Silent Hill uh four. We have the bottle, we have the stun gun, we're fucking invincible from this moment. Because the stun gun solves most of the problems. So that bloody bed? Oh, wait. This one? Bloody bed? Did I just miss one? Because I was running, yep, I was running while I was fading, yep. Or maybe I went too early. Wait a minute. Upper right should be, oh, I see why. It's this one. Yep, all the bloody beds are aligned. That's a good omen in this game. <laughs> uh, go down. All the way down into town. I think I'm just gonna end up in the same room I was at. Oh, ow! Clear the way. Thank you. Then all the way up. All the way up, Morty. All the way to the third floor, Morty. Gotta do it, Morty, for Grandpa, Morty. Gotta go up to the third floor. Jump through the bloody beds, Morty. Oh, gee, Rick, I don't want to jump through bloody beds, man. I just want to go back to school. Okay. Go up. That's the... I, no, that's the that's one floor too much. We can't open the slice gate yet, so I think that whole part's gonna take a back seat until it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Right? Yep. Here we go. Bloody bedtime. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know why that entertains me so much. Just the, the animation. Whee! And one more time. Do it for Andrew. For Andrew! <laughs> Whee! Draw. Stab him in the... Is that where I want to go? Wait a minute, I want to go through the... Nope, I want to... Fuck you guys. I don't need you. I, I still remember there was some ammo here, but that was probably in the second run. Yep. What was the code? 0302, something like that. Watchfulness placard. Placard from Water Prison World. It shows an eye and says watchfulness. Didn't you say this will bring the light? What did I fuck up? 
think I did it right. Yeah, the bloody beds are aligned. Where's the light then? Oh, right. Wait. You do need power. So let's go all the way back up. I might have missed something. Because I remember there was the whole water thing. It should be aligned. I'll check once I'm down with these guys. Should be aligned so that... Uh, Oh, that's it. So we have two pipes there. One there and one there. Okay, the water is going to run. As long as we have at least one pipe, it's going to run. It's going to start the gen. Okay. That's all we need to happen. So let's check that slice gate again. I'm, I don't know how... What might have been missed, but something definitely has been missed. I want to try the stun gun on the wall assholes. Or as Claptrap from Borderlands would say, <laughs> Stay away from the wall sphincters! I'm sorry, <laughs> when I get nervous, I just start shouting wall sphincters. <laughs> so all the way up now, and there should be something of... Did it go up? Yeah, okay. Overlooked here. It starts the slice gates. Like a switch, maybe? Or... Oh, there we go. Of course. Yep, now it's gonna run. It's gonna start the gen, and, uh... We can go see... We can go see Andrew, finally. There you have it. And that should have started the gen at the B1 now. Because, so if you look at the map, the wheel is aligned diagonally like this. Or actually like this. <laughs> so as long as one of those is running, it should be, yeah, the upper left is open. So if you go up, you can see the pipes on the floors. You can see where the water goes and spills now. So, yeah. And all, on all three floors it's running, and it's running from this one. So that one's turning the wheel down there right now. Now let's jump through the bloody beds. I'm actually glad I did this part last, because I got the stun gun. I would have hated if I missed the stun gun. <laughs> I remember how it made my life easier the last run, once I find out, found out about it. And I just fell in love with it. Also say one of the big issues with Town Hill 4 is oh man why did I do that is uh, inventory management cuz you only have like what 8 or 10 slots and you're going to find every 10 bullets you find which I didn't put in the box by the way uh every 10 bullets every item takes up its own slot so you gotta have to run, especially later, more and more often to the to the item box in order here's the broken pipe. We're gonna have to play with those later. Is it here? I think. Yeah. Uh what was I saying? Yeah, more is gonna as it gets harder, you're gonna value that inventory space and well look at this angle. Now, it's like we're being watched from that central room. Is there some bullets underneath, though? Oh, I changed the angle. Well, way to go, me. Um, I forgot what I was saying. But yeah, in case you missed it, uh, at the beginning I was saying how this thing, the cylindrical prison, Panopticon, was a real thing. It was invented by an um, English engineer. And, oh, there we go, it's finally light. Yes! Yeah, that's how you get light. Can you find some items, though? Oh, fuck these guys. I'm not gonna kill them every time I come here. That's, I remember it wasn't so dark. And, it's controversial today. I think it was controversial even back then. Kind of paves way to the... <laughs> totalitarian kind of... Uh, governing body 
but you know he, the guy had a right idea use as few resources to monitor as many prisoners as possible even though you know it's not like it violates a lot of human rights <laughs> and it really doesn't well it's not that actually what am i saying the main thing is it doesn't it doesn't really rehabilitate people more like drives them insane there we go okay and boost up the dialogue volume I don't think there's going to be any dialogue, but still. <laughs> 18, one point. It's obviously a slash on his body. Get bigger. Uh, Xbox really doesn't give you much, much time to play with the loading thing, <laughs> compared to the PS2 version where you can mold. Oh, look, it's getting dark. You can mold that uh, loading sign, that mark of Samael, was it? Into like pretty much anything during the load. Yeah, it does, man. That's the power of having the hard drive in your console. I think, I really think Microsoft. Oh, we're here, we're healing. Uh, they really nailed it with this console. I'm saying this just like, like I said, this first time I'm actually playing something on the actual original Xbox, but playing these games through the backwards compatibility on the Xbox 360, I already could see like, wow, holy shit, they really nailed it with what this console could do. This is my bed that hasn't changed. Could that forest world have been somewhere in this photo of Silent Hill? Wait, where they're, why are they not ch changing now? They should have changed. Connection between the church. Did they not change after this world? Super, yeah, this is all the same. Too good, man. Yeah, I can actually boost this back. Or like lower. The game volume, because no one's talking. The neighbors are still being neighbors. The game guy is gone though and Richard where the fuck is Richard oh there's the game guy he's doing his shit <laughs> look at that guy <laughs> he's happy there's Robbie again wow third time John this must mean something it's he's only there when you join the stream though <laughs> I've never seen him before and now like this is the third time can you believe that hey Robbie we're gonna see more of him and Donnie Darko. Oh right, that's kind. It's my spirit animal. <laughs> Just reminded me of FF F Seven in a nutshell. I'm gonna be behind you like a spirit animal. You should ask me what you should do. Uh, spirit animal, what should I do? Don't fuck up. <laughs> Let's see what happens here. <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna say my shower is go going mad. Well, that's never a good sign, seeing that much blood in your bathtub. Blood. It's stained with blood. It smells horrible. Just like that water-filled room under the cylindrical prison. Yep. He's got a clue there. <laughs> it is. I'm glad you watch those things and, and you know what I'm talking about. That's a really good feeling. Usually when I fire a gag like that, some circles people are like, yeah, what? Yeah. <laughs> Just kind of feels dumb. Just the typical stuff. Okay, yeah, that hasn't changed. We're not going to check the hole yet. Though it's pretty noisy there. I'll give it that. One of my favorite lines from that uh, series is when it says, on one hand, 
I love my baby girl or whatever. On the other hand, and then Cloud interjects, like, you have a machine gun. On the other hand, Cloud, <laughs> let's peek through the window first, or the, like the peephole. Any efforts into getting, oh, there, there's old Frank. Wasn't just him either. There's uh, something wrong with his whole apartment. It's haunted, maybe, but maybe not. Me. I mean, you don't see the bloody handprints on the wall. That's not a sign enough. That's not well, sign anyway, enough for you. Well, just a few years ago, I, my son went to Silent Hill and he never came back. This sentence. The fuck, man? You know what? Eileen's gonna should be like, I'm moving out of this building. Just, you know, umbilical cords, kidneys. I keep weird stuff in my apartment. Okay, lady, I have indigestion. It's not. It's rude to judge. Jeez. <laughs> so there's a there's Andrew's handprint. Okay, we're getting somewhere. So far we have eighteen of them, right? Two, four, six, eight, and two, sixteen plus two. Yeah. So we're missing three. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, I remember now. Who the three are? Let's check. There's a scrap of red paper stuck in there. Another part of the red diary. Stained with blood and I can't read it. Okay, no. That's what Frank just slipped. Superintendent's memo, yep. That's what Frank just slipped under our door. And uh, that's also going to make sense later. You'll see. So you can't read what he slipped under it. There's a scrap of paper stuck in here. So this is the red diary part. I found something that extremely that's extremely effective against the ghosts. It saved my life. Uh, I was stuck into the huge rock in the woods near the orphanage. It's a sword blade with a handmade triangle-shaped wooden handle that, pardon me, that has some kind of spell written on it. As a weapon, it's heavy and hard to carry, but somehow it seems to change in response to the ghost victim's power. Strike when the sword is energized. If you don't reduce their power, your attacks will be repelled. As far as I know, there are only five swords in existence with that kind of power. It's extremely valuable. July 23rd. So, it's a little, you know, a few questions I have, like, how the fuck, how did you, you don't even know what the sword is, like, you don't even mention its name, like, it sounds like he knew more, and he researched, but like, there's five of them, that's all you need to know. Any new comments on the stuff? Yeah, so it didn't change, that's, that makes me sad, what about this one? Son and daughter alone disappeared in Silent Hill. Yeah, this hasn't changed. Where's my new comments? The way he says, I was that age once too. Like, like he's say, looking at someone else's photo and remember like, I was that age once too. But he says, he's actually meaning to say, I think, I was that age once too. Well, no. <laughs> it's hard. I think you know what I mean. Yeah, nothing's happening in Aline's place. Robbie's not even looking at us. The TV is off now. That hasn't changed. Anything new on the... And on a lighter note, we have a new addition to this oh, Wally the Walrus. Oh no, Baby Tiger. Was born, and both mother and child are reportedly doing just fine. Thank you. Now, how about getting me the fuck out of this room? <laughs> There's no Frank. I mean, uh, Richard. There's someone there doing something. 
and the gamer guy is still going wild still can open the windows but I can bang you can see they're kind of <laughs> moving Robbie's gone okay let's dump our shit and move on Blackard same medallion sure all the bullets and you know what I'm not gonna regret this fuck the pipe not using it anyway. All I need is bottle and a stun gun. I'm gonna say stun gun more than the bottle, but yeah. Anything new in the closet though? Before we leave for the last nice portion of this game, after this next bit, it's gonna get harder and harder. Yeah, this hasn't changed. Tools and shit. Yeah. Okay. Never mind, Henry. You don't want to give us new comments? We're going to give them ourselves. I don't know what I'm saying. My brain is at like <laughs> half the capacity on autopilot. The hole is even bigger now. There's a lot of noise coming from the inside of the hole. Yeah, man, of course you'll go in. You know the drill by now, Henry. Now it's going to go like, woo. And you can see the texture of the hole changing when you get to a certain world. Man, this game is quiet compared to like Outbreak. At least on TV, on stream, nobody's complaining, but if the game's too quiet, let me know. Oh yeah. I think this is my favorite world. Because of how batshit insane it gets. Not to mention the hospital and Eileen's head, that's another thing. Probably. Oh yeah, I read something interesting about using the stun gun uh, in the Eileen head room. So I gotta remember to try that. Oh, look how bland I am. I, I've even like merged with the, with the environment. We want the stun gun in this level, pretty much. Okay, look at that, like fourth, fifth dimension. The stairs just ending abruptly, and it feels dreamlike, and I love it, honestly. And these noises, I don't know how well you can hear, but here, I'll shut up for a second. Should be audible. And, oop. Oh, that was a loading screen. I thought that's a cutscene. Better be careful. Monkeys will fall. What's a card doing here? Will fall from the fucking sky. I think it's audible enough for the stream broken so there's nothing here nothing in the trunk maybe oh god I can hear them okay with the stun gun I should be okay plus I have a hole every oh there we go there we go Step on his balls. Yep, just one hit and step on them. Instead of, you know, trying to crush them with a pipe and a gold club and a shotgun, and you don't have a shotgun here, with a pistol, whatever you have, just like stun him, step on their balls. There you have it. <laughs> Broken. I'm about to see old Richie. You might recognize, before I go into the cutscene, you might recognize this. We've seen it from, uh, from the room. But everything's gonna be bar rest bar. It should be yeah bar South Asheville. Everything's gonna be freakier. I think this is where we'll. Yep, here we go. Just damn it! Like fall from the sky. Damn it!
first. I mean, if you if I speak, you won't believe that anymore. <laughs> hey, you're the guy that lives across from me. And you're the guy who spies on me. I'm Richard Braintree from 207. Polite as well. What the hell's happened to us? That whole this freaky world. But if you're here too. Oh, you could have mentioned it when I was moving in, but <laughs> never mind. Three o two before you. Do it, John. Do it, man. Whenever I catch you, I'll join. Thanks, man. Thanks for all the love. Have a good night. If I see you before weekend, excellent. If not, oh shit. No, the other guy, Henry. What the fuck, Henry? Are you okay? Nice dodge, me. Oh, he. They can dodge too. Well, nobody said they could dodge too. Oh, sorry, John. I'll be there in a zippy. Okay. That guy's dead. Now let's focus on... Ah, I wanted to dodge, bitch. Yeah. Fuck you. I'm sure I will. Have a good rest, my friend. Thanks for being here. What's a cod doing here? I've seen this sign before, but even so... Where the fuck am I? There's another one here, I think. Nope. I love this world. I want to savor it. Those are, I guess, ACs or something. So, this is a huge map, this world. The first one time around, yeah, it's going to be... Here we are. You hear that? I, I'm not gonna boost it. It's not a, a pretty sound, but yeah. That's the sound I associate with this game. Why? Well, because of this. Wait, that's the birthday. Yeah. This is important for later. So you're not gonna explore or say anything so that the, the kind of reminds of our room right with the kitchen and everything the birthday cake and champagne here or as a brannigan would put it champagne champagne <laughs> none of the books on this bookshelf look particularly interesting you know what before i set you free buddy okay remember the swords he mentioned so this is a ghost victim. Uh, I mentioned before, zombie, you can't kill them. This is the best you can do. Should I even release this one? He's holding something in his hand. Take the item in his hand. Yes, the ghost key. Do I want to release him? Yes, because I want to select which ghost to pin later, right? Right? Yes, there are five swords. I'm going to need them to pin some ghosts later. And I just made my life a lot harder. <laughs> sword of Obedience, extremely rare sword. When used against downed ghosts, it stopped them in place. When pulled out, the ghost is revived. Good to know. The first time you're playing it, you're like, fuck. So, goodbye, sir. Before you... No... Bye. Oh shit, these leeches are everywhere. Bottle will take care of it. Oh god, there are ghosts here too. Shit, this is gonna be fucky. What? Is that the same guy? 
I think it's the same guy. Better run downstairs. Hear that? So now I will want to run. Oh, jeez, can you stun the ghosts? You know what? I'll have to try. No, 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 before they get you. Oh, God, where where are you aiming, Henry? Fuck it, just run. Is there more stairs here? No? Okay, that makes it a lot easier, actually. Oh, the symmetry, I love it. This reminded me why I love this game so much. Damn the vibrations. Got used to the PS2 wireless controller vibrations. These are these are That's not a that's never a good so sound. No ammo, nothing, really. I guess we just have one door, right? One door here. No door there. You sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Ah, oh, jeez, really? Okay, this is a safe area, I'm pretty sure. Take some pistol bullets. I'm gonna go back there, because I want to explore. What the hell? No, he says, what the hell? Something reeks. Ooh, this could have something to do with the ending, when you find out something something I just thought of that never occurred to me before no 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 sir ma'am dear sir or madam will you read my book it took me years to write will you take a look it's made based on a novel by a name man now nah, man named Henry oh that doesn't, doesn't rhyme fuck it okay there we are. Should find some of these. Yep. Five iron. Not gonna use it, but still. They're all powerful and look like it could break any minute. There are all sorts of sports supplies, but nothing particularly interesting, okay? It's filled with volleyballs. It's an aluminum bat. Will you take it? Yes. Yeah, this should be an upgrade at this point. Uh, compared to the pipe because you can like like with the pipe you can tap it to to you like to to do the combo when he's doing the longer one you hold it longer and then when it charges all the way let's say we're doing that like whoosh. but again it's not as practical as the stun gun this bat is made out of plastic still useless as a weapon <laughs> so i oh, i got the real one Shelf is about to fall apart. There's some nothing interesting in it, though. I hope he'll say there's something interesting in it. Oh, a hole! Yeah, sure. Want to check my apartment? Where did I come from? There are two doors here. What's my health? Let's check some places first. Not that place, though. Fuck that place. Even Buddha said fuck that place. <laughs> but how about this place? That one's locked. Okay. Never mind what I said about the apartment. No, not scary at all. Someone's having a bad day. There's gonna be dogs here, right? Can I stun them? You know what? I'm gonna try. By God, I'm gonna try. No, wait, wrong, wrong button. Shit, 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 shit. No. First dodge. Yep, stuns them. Step on them. Ultimate weapon. No, Henry, no. See what happens when you aim at the dead enemy? We're gonna count him as dead, yep. Oh, 
Oh, that guy is stuck in the... Okay. Before they bite. Oh, what, what the fuck, dog? What the fuck, dog? Ah, oh, god damn it. You gotta be quick with this. I might have to escape from here. Ah! Okay. Uh, we're gonna... We're gonna try a new plan from this moment. I think you don't even need to step on them when you use the stun gun. Doggy. Oh, boy. He's gonna go for it. Ha ah! You fucking kidding me, Henry! You blind fuck! There we go. You gotta be fast with the stumps though, with the stun gun. Because some of them will get up real fast. Oh. Okay. Good thing I checked. <laughs> Bottle for the assholes. I call, I call all of them assholes. You never know which assholes I mean, but yeah. Alrighty. It's enough cat food for an army of cats. You found keys. Will you take them? Uh, yeah. Albert's sport keys. Sports keys. Found in the bed shop. It has Albert's sports written on it. Okay. That one's easy. So this is the pet shop. All of these locations will have their story. In this world, specifically. I mean, aside from every world having its story, right? But all of these locations... And if you read the Sullivan Victims, the little book that there are all sorts of dog and cat items here um, that came with uh, pet food. It's SH4, I think, with one of the additions. There, there's more, like there's more lore in there, basically what I'm trying to say. I'm so sorry. I'm so tired today. It's been a very long day, but a successful day, so... From time to time, I might just blank out. <laughs> Wait, shouldn't there be... We can go this way, yep. We were here. kind of feel like there's something... Like there was something secret here. Let me just feel around for a bit. Is this locked as well? No? Oh, shit. You, they don't care if you hurt them, but... I don't know, the bottle. Though I should try the stun gun. I want to try it on the ghost. I don't remember if it does anything. This this upside down room will be more important later, but yeah. An upside down clock. The hands aren't moving. The doorknob is rusted shut and I can't get it open. That's going to be important for the second time. Now, is there something here? I kind of remember there were there was ammo here too. Again, not sure if that's the second run or the first run. But I'm going to touch everything and just make sure. Yeah, you can go there. Maybe in between. Yeah, that's in the second run. And if only his head didn't look like he's like he found something all the time. All the fucking time. Wait a second. Just want to make sure. That's nothing. Okay. There are, those are windows and upside down lights. Okay, I get it now. Gotcha. Gotcha. Let's avoid that ghost and go back to the apartment to heal from Albert's sports. Ha 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 ha, you dumbass. can use the other door, right? Wait, where's the map? Uh -huh. So, right, okay. Are you sure there's no ammo there? I mean, I, I kind of feel... I think it's actually normal in the first bit to get less. Yeah, that's probably going to be in the second bit. I think that's what I'm remembering.
even though a lot of people don't like that aspect, yeah, I get why. It also does a good job of confusing you. So even when you replay it, if you haven't done it recently, you might get a little lost. Uh, okay, change legs. <laughs> Hello, room. Anything new for me? Any mail? The blurriness. Oh, someone's knocking. Wait, I want to check. Okay, yeah, let's check the knocking first. It will make more sense than to check the pictures while they're knocking. Finally, someone came to my rescue. Let's do that then. He's taunting me now. We're still safe in the room though, but this is the last time we're safe in the room. Where is she though? Should be able to see her. She's not there, but I don't know if the wardrobe was open earlier. Any more comments on you on the stuff? No. Oh shit! Holy fuck, I've never seen that. That creeped me out. Jesus Christ. Wow. How many times have I played this game? I've never seen Robbie the Rabbit and I've never seen the falling head. I wonder if these things are exclusive to Xbox, but yeah, there's no Richard in his chair. And that other person, what the fuck are you doing on the window, man? And the gamer guy is doing something. Wow, wow, that like that scared me. It wasn't like boohoo scare, it was more like here. What the hell did I just see? Okay, good. That that's why I like this game. That's it's showing its qualities. I don't even have to provoke it to do that. So that's the entrance to our building. Nothing else. Oh my arm hurts. Jeez, fuck that scared me. It's like because I was turning like this, and it just caught it with, with the... Oh, God. With the corner of my eye. We'll need the keys. Put the sword. Put the bat in the club. Do I even want to keep the bottle? Yeah, I won't find seven items. For now, I'll keep it. I love this radio turns itself off. So I see nothing new aside from Walter trying to make me uh, jump. Oh my god, I'm gonna be afraid of windows for a while now. Holy shit. Even the computer windows, yeah. <laughs> so no new comments, but falling heads, that's like totally mine. Fuck. It's gonna do that again. That bit is, a per you know, I compare it to the bit in the room with the randomness. I compare it to the sanity effects from um, Eternal Darkness and it is Requiem. Because no matter how many times I played that game, and I played it about to say, oh, there it is again. So does it happen when I look through this, when I look here and then come back? It's it's like, what was that? What was she doing? Holy shit. So yeah, reminds me of Sanity's Requiem, Eternal Darkness, Sanity's Requiem. Sorry, I'm 
I'm tired and this just shook me. Let's see if the head's gonna fall again. <laughs> I'm not feeling totally okay with this, I'll admit. We've seen it fall twice now. One more time. Come on, we can we can do this. Got at least 40 minutes to stream more, so. And Eileen running away, I've never seen that one. I've seen a lot of shit with Eileen. And even the rabbit will move at one point, but uh I've never seen her just run. Wait, maybe if I look through the deep hole. That falling head though. I think oh, it's going up. Why does it scare me so? It's just it's just a decapitated head floating up and down. That's a new, yep, that's a new. I don't know if it's exclusive to Xbox or I just never saw it before, but and it's gone. The writing about Eileen. Yeah, I know it's Eileen. It's like you could which neighbor though? He could mean Richard, but he said soon, so so I'm pretty sure. I keep seeing a head now everywhere. I mean mission complete game. I haven't been scared like this from a video game in a long time. So uh you're doing your job very well for a game that I claim I know very well. That shit was fucking scary. Will I see the head falling again? Like nothing's changed. It only happens in this window for some reason. I know the hauntings will get random, but that shit. Yeah, I'm still on it. I'm sorry. I've probably been on this for two. There it is. There it is. What? How the fuck does that work? Well, that changed my perspective of windows forever. <laughs> the way it floats, it reminds me of a nightmare I had as a kid. Where body farts floated like that, just like, like kind of wiggly and just go, went to the ceiling. And maybe it's kind of a personal terror, but bravo, bravo, Silent Hill 4. Jeez. That's... To be able after... 15 years, I think it's been, no, it's been less since I first played this, 2008, so no, 13 years still though, to be able to scare me when I'm like, hey, I know this game, I have the stun gun, I'm indestructible, that's something. Okay, let's move on. No, oh, it's monkey people. Let's be smarter than they are. They're gonna fall fall down totally. Oh, there's another one here. Straight in the balls. Oh. Well, that guy's. Uh, oh no, that's not. The same. Let's get the ladder guy. Okay. See how easy that is with the stun gun? Try and doing that with a pistol or a pipe or anything else. Good luck. I mean, you can't be really good in dodging. But why do that when you can do this? Oh shit. Too early. They, they can jump on me and yep, do that. Step on him and then get the other guy. Dodge to the side. There was no need. He's not really fast. <laughs> it just invalidates these guys, the the stun gun. Oh, there should be one. Oh wait, before we go there, I I, I forget where where the scenario end is, and before we go there, I want to pick something up. What's here? Broken. Okay, good. It's good. But also... 
the console's like, fuck off, decide where you want to be. I don't want to load any more rooms. So this one, shut, okay. There's the elevators, yep. There's another hole down there. <laughs> this is going to get interesting. So which elevator first? This one's not here. So it's this one. Have I been lower? No, this is the lowest I've been to. It's right next to the room with uh, with the upside down clock. Holy hell, that floating head. I'm going to think about it now. And it's almost my bedtime. Imagine being me. It's like, good thing I have curtains. I'm just going to imagine the heads floating outside of my window. Gotta remember to clip that later, that was something. I don't think I can control the elevator this time. There's Richard. Hey Richie. A real child person. <laughs> so now, where did they get from? Oh, B12. Look at all the floors! There's not much on them, but yeah. It's supposed to be mazy. So I came from the southern side. Before I go out, I want to check the north side, which is right ahead of me. That's like, oh no, wait. Let's go back up. Let's start with the top button. Because there's a Kind of semi-secret room there, because there are two doors, right? They won't open on every floor. But will on some. Now, if I remember correctly, there's a ghost, yeah, or two. And there should be some weapons. A special weapon as well. Oh, damn it, man. Spade, which is supposed to be a good weapon, but after the ordinary spade from a construction site, looks like it would be an impressive weapon. But after the, uh, the stun gun, no. Sort of obedience. So yeah, there you go, have it, a semi-secret one. What will happen if I stun a ghost? Nothing. It'll buy me some time, and that's about it. They don't give a shit about uh, physical damage, so that's why. Okay, what about the middle one? That one won't open. That one won't open, okay. So bottom, okay? Now we get to the second elevator. Do I want to... Yeah, I want to exit here first. Because of that, yep. Can you hurt them through the... <laughs> you dumbasses. Yeah, you can't do anything through the wire. To the fence. There's nothing here. It's not here. Can you call it though? No. Okay, I guess we're just using this elevator? Are you sure though? Let's check that one more time. I like how you can actually see it moving between floors. You can see it on the other side. It reminds me of the old elevators that we have in uh, some of the oldest Belgrade buildings. So the middle floor isn't working for some reason. I'll try that once again, just to make sure I didn't fuck up. It should open. 
not the buttons. Shut that one open. Or this side. Okay. Then uh, bottom. That's all we have. And then go into the hole. Oh yeah, finally. See how few uh, health items you find in the first portion of the game? Because most of the time you don't need them. I mean, you can always go back to the room. Yeah, they can come in handy in a, in a tight spot. Like yes, the last session when I almost fucked up with that dog. But, oh yeah, okay, that will take us to the other elevator. Which one did they come from? East one. So if I go here... But the elevator is not there. Okay, good to know. I guess the the other elevator will be active when we revisit this place. No bullets, nothing else left. Okay. If I'm not mistaken, the bottle should be better for these guys. Though the stun gun should work as well. I like how carefully he, he does that. Stun gun compared to the bottle. Yeah, the spade should have long range. That's not the spade. Yeah, that's 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 no stun gun. I'll tell you that. The the little twitch he has when he changes weapons. <laughs> I hear monkeys. Broken. They could fuck me up here because there's three of them. Gotta be careful. But there's a there's the hole as well. So. I'm here. Yep, step on his balls. Oh yeah. Ah, dodge, Henry. Ah, goddamn dogs, you're worse than the monkeys. Fuck, when you... Yep, they, they, this is... The, I remember this place. This was really dangerous. Letter, Henry. Okay, okay. This is the dangerous spot. And I don't want to use any healing items, so gotta remember where the last hole was. When I use the elevator, go all the way up. In Albert Sports. You know what? I'm gonna do it. Those three dogs, how much health do I have? They do it so fast. Should I try? I could die. No, I'm gonna go back. Gotta play it safe. I didn't save. I'm gonna save after this world, so uh I just wanna make sure I live. I live. Top. I bet there's gonna be, I think actually, there's gonna be scenario end after that, but yeah. Three dogs, though they are more aggressive when you run, but I don't want to push my luck. Like I did in the first world and almost died, there was like 2% health left, so let's do, let's not do any of that anymore. This is, wait, what was that? This is a safe spot? Could I kill them all? Looks like elevator door and nothing. <laughs> Here we are. That's the that's the whole room. Ow. Hangover time. And then we're back. 
Gonna be floating heads. Fuck. Yeah, I'm really impressed by that floating head. It's enough to scare you. Pulse to the wall. Fucking all. And that too. Not not like I'm gonna use it. But maybe on those dogs. Nah. Stun gun should be enough. A little bit stun gun, a little bit of bottle. There we go, fully healed. And enter the hole. Being born again. He's just going back and forth. <laughs> so, left door, right? Was it the left door? I think it was the left door. Yep. Follow the trail of dead monkey man. I don't think any more of them are going to fall from the sky, so that's good. Okay, let's show those dogs what we're made of. By immobilizing them than stepping on their guts. <laughs> Bottom. Beautiful. Henry has a ladder problem, though. He's can really. Oh, they didn't regrow. Nice. You can't really, it's hard to kind of aim them. I can't explain it. Holy shit, they're fast when they want it. Come back. They're eating him. Okay. If I can just get one of them, there's a tension. The guy that's not eating. Or or try to stun them all. Wow. Okay. Yep, yep, come here, follow me. Just one of you. Yeah, you. You you'll do good. Come on. Fuck yeah, step on him quickly. That one's dead. Oh. One down, two to go. Oh, that one was sleeping, actually, I think, or whatever. Get him! Okay, that's... Ah, oh, let go of my leg! Let go of my Lego! Oh, that's how they get you. The other dog, the other dog, the dog that's closer to you, Henry. Oh my fucking god, Henry. Are you a blind fuck or what are you? Okay, that dog should be good at that. Ah! Unless they're working together, that's when you're fucked. What the fuck? Are you kidding me? Oh, okay, just one left. Yeah. Two bites, not fair. There was ah, there was two bites, dog. They're f they're the worst enemies, honestly. There you go. Okay, if there's any more of them, I'm gonna die. But luckily, there shouldn't be. I think there shouldn't be. Or I could end up surrounded as well. That's a possibility.
We were there before. No items to pick up. I'm gonna okay, I can check the street now. Oof. Ooh, that's a different kind of scary than the floating head. I like the floating head scary. I am not a fan of of do your best to kill me scary, but you know, it works. Damn the floating head. It's one of the best things I've seen in a video game. Especially in a game that I've played so many times. I still can't get over it. It's a special kind of scary. Confidently walking off. Because there are no floating heads in the messed up world. Oh shit. I should be okay, yeah. There are no dogs, so... Why do, why do they sound like chickens? Oh, uh, okay, that's... That could... that He could kill me. He could actually kill me. Oh, never mind. Bravo me. Any holes here? Because I could you really use... Oh, there's another one. I think there's a hole beyond this point, And this is dangerous, what I'm doing. Because if another one falls behind me somehow, I'm fucked. Guy, oh, he has a he has a weapon. Fuck it, let's go heal again. He has a weapon. <laughs> I I mean it's orange. I could do good, but I don't want to risk it. Let's fight. Let's go back to that hole. This is for me the toughest part of the game. This alley here, and after this, like there's no three monkeys, three doors, five monkeys anymore so good and we'll finish this world on time so that's also good go up top can you skip the elevator no that's not skippable that's actually happening. You know what would be awesome? If some new enemy spawned and killed me. Whatever happened to games with camera like this, you know? It's similar enough to RE's fixed camera angle, but it's, you know, it's kind of following you and changing angles when necessary. All? All. Not all, but... Majority of modern games use the third person, first person cam. I don't know. Should try something, some new things. Hangover. Are there gonna be floating heads? No. I wanna say thank god no, but at the same time I wanna say why? Maybe after I looked for Eileen, one more time. <laughs> Why was she running though? I know she does a lot of things like reads, eats, etc. But why was she running there? Okay, no head this time. I wonder if there was a mild haunting. The air doesn't quote unquote seem heavy, but I think I can drop the bottle. But there was, I don't know, something creepy about the head, the capitated head and the lifeless expression, like just floating by, <laughs> nothing to see here. Okay, last track down there. This should be it. We killed the 
the most dangerous bunch. There, then the elevator, and all the way down, no, down, bottom. How the fuck? I must have pressed up and left at the same time. <laughs> Oh good, letter. You got the letter in the first try. Nice, Henry. Nice, old boy. <laughs> it just left a trail of massacre behind. Stun gun massacre. <laughs> It's really OP, the stun gun. Okay, club guy. Oh, I dodged it, kinda. I guess not enough. See? It's a good thing I did heal. What the fuck? Quickly. Half of hell done by that one guy. Nothing interesting. No weapons there? He should drop his weapon, though. Yep. Pitching wedge. You have a whole golf club collection. What about the other corpses? I didn't even check if they had clubs on them. I think that's the first guy, though. <laughs> yeah, that there's no club there. That's just a uh, way back. Okay, so nothing to pick up here. No. Just a water thingy. Apartments. Where's Richard, damn it? Gotta stop stop pressing Y. Is there anything up there? No. Nah, don't skew or anything, camera. I'm okay, I can see. That's so Silent Hill 1. But yeah, there's nothing here either. Go on. B13. You know what? Eat your heart out, Resident Evil. You don't have fucking 13 floors of basement. <laughs> Watch out for the leeches. Goddamn bastards. Oh god, I should be... Oh, are they gonna fall from the sky? Just garbage, nothing useful? More monkeys, no? Wooden crates. Garbage. Everything's garbage to you, Henry. Okay, we should be safe here. A rusty axe. One-handed axe. A little short but powerful and easy to handle. So that one has an interesting... Combo. No, not the... Don't aim at it. One... You can just keep chopping. In the rhythm. But with the charge one, if you charge it, it actually has a really good... Wah! One of the most... I think the most powerful melee attack in the game. Let's try it on this these guys. Just annihilates them. <laughs> but yeah, I'm sticking to this. I might carry the axe around. I don't know. It's a billiard table. Looks like they were in the middle of a game. What else, Henry, old boy? There we go. Memo. 
The boss said that the number this time is the last four digits of this store's phone number, but the phone number is written right there on the sign on the roof. Anybody could see it from South Ashville Street. Is that really okay? Yes, it is, because how else would Henry progress? What was it, 555-3705? Five, 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 I'm going to try 3705. There's a hole I could go heal, but let's try the password first, if I remember. You know what, I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it. I remember something happens if you try and call it. There, I'll even skip the whole animation. And the wake-up animation. I don't trust those windows anymore. Oh, yeah. Three seven five oh, okay, three seven five oh, not three seven oh five. Three seven five oh. It's for the password, but I wanna see it you should hear something. Someone's mowing the lawn while simultaneously killing a giraffe, I guess. Let's check if the head's there. One last time. No, I think it was one time thing. Or maybe it's one of the random things that'll happen in a in one session being in the room if you know what i mean so every time you come back it might shuffle things around but this is nothing wait for the room to start getting haunted then we're gonna talk about dangerous shit three seven five zero right no ammo nothing my god it looks good Well, that's going nowhere. Stairways collapse doesn't look like it could get through. Okay. Holy shit. Stop scaring me, Richard. We gotta get to Richard now, quickly. That's it. With, thi with this, we're gonna finish first round in this world and that collapsed stairway it's not gonna stay collapsed forever well kinda something's gonna fall on it and cover it oh the ghost <laughs> he's trying to catch up with me his proximity can harm me though so yeah if he's right underneath me i'm gonna occasionally get a little health loss not right now oh there we go when it goes red and vibrates but it'll also be visually very Noticeable because the bar will pop up. Too slow, your whole circle head. Ow, oh, like that. If I had the same medallion on, it would protect me, but it will also break the medallion. I'm gonna need the medallions later. What's this? It's door 207 for my apartment building. There's a plate on the door Chaos Placard. From the building world, it has an abstract picture and says chaos. Bye bye. There we go. Okay, that was that one beautifully. Except for Richard, of course. Richard's gonna be one mean ghost, though. Yeah, that's kind of spoiling it, but yeah. Oh, 
You know where Walter's pointing? To our apartment, yeah? So he's the 11th of 21. And if you remember in Silent Hill 2 we read that Walter Sullivan actually killed himself in his cell. That was pretty good that uh, that Ali got me for a second but Let's do a round in the room. Oh, you hear that? Seems there's some kind of Asian native religion still active in Sun Hill. Here we go, new comments. <clears throat> there was even a rumor that a UFO came flying right by the lighthouse. He's talking about the Sun Hill 1 UFO ending. I hear that it's almost never sunny in Sun Hill, and people say that when the fog comes out, strange things happen. Well, you, ha you have no idea, Henry. Let's look at it from here. There's a man in 207 pointing his finger. Oh, he's pointing at room 303, not our room. Eileen's room. We can't really see him. Oh, we can. Damn, I should have done it from the other window. This angle might make it a little harder to see. Yep, he's going to stand there and point. Especially useful. Okay, that part didn't change. What about this picture? Maybe that orphanage in the forest and the cylinder-shaped prison were both somewhere in this photo too. This is my bed. There are many like it, but this one is mine. like that case from 10 years ago. Yeah, that Walter Sullivan case. But Sullivan's dead. They even got the body. Must be some crazy copycat. Yeah, but even so... The TV, the radio, the phone, the window, the door. What the hell is going on here? Those are normal things in your apartment. Wonder how much time has passed. Still pointing. Damn, this would have been such a better angle to see him. But yeah, we'll see a lot of him later. This is what the point where the room will stop being friendly. This is South Ashfield Heights. It's U-shaped so you can see what the per person living across from you is doing all the time. Now that I think of it, there was a movie like that a long time ago. Hmm. Kind of like some uh, Halbert Hitchcock, something like that. <laughs> I got this photo from Sunderland. He uses room 105 as the superintendent's room. There's a remote control, a car magazine, and stuff like that, but nothing useful. Okay. Do you want to comment on that, though? Pro I'll probably lose the water soon, too. I know I should be hungry, but I don't feel a thing. Okay, fair enough, Henry. What about the photos? I visited Silent Hill lots of times when I was that age. Huh. So, yeah, I forgot about that. I wonder if this bookshelf belonged to the person who lived here before me. And lastly, last but not least, at the door. Well, it's not last. There's still to check on Eileen. The fuck are you doing, Frank? Oh, there's another bloody handprint. Who is he arguing with? Just 
like the frame cuts off right there. Okay, I guess I'm not wanted here. What about my shoes, though? I'm pretty sure I bought them in Silent Hill. Well, you sure you're not in Silent Hill right now, boy? Because, like, everything is from Silent Hill. <laughs> there she is. She's getting ready, which is important. I guess that's it. She's gone. All right. I think we have another world before we move on. I think. So nothing new in the here. Okay. Yeah. I think that there's another world, but oh wait, that's an owl. <laughs> that's an owl, owl outside my window. It goes well. Thanks for asking, Dizzy. I just finished the building world round one, and I've seen. Uh, scary effect I've never seen. So right by this window, I gotta clip it later. A head just fucking floated up to the sky. It was just the way it was animated was scary. So I thought, you know, never gonna see it again. I turned around, turned back. The head floated up. Then it floated down after a while. But I, I'm not able to trigger it again. I'm gonna try one more time. Cause I've seen a lot of haunting effects in this game, but I've never seen that one. <laughs> There's Eileen. She's not doing anything important. No head. Well, I gl I'm glad I caught it on stream. That was genuinely scary. And I think I can save here. So, you know what? Fuck the all this shit. I just need the stun gun. I would carry the axe. You know what? I'll carry the axe for a while. I'll be smart. Though I don't think I'll need it. I'll just need the stun gun. Especially for the monkeys. Well, for anything, basically. Okay, let's not check the bathroom. Let's end the session here. That was really good. No, that still. Only saving at the end of the session. So good. Return from building world. Okay. Yeah, there's apartment world. That's right. But that one we're going to see next time. Oh, yeah. They're like 2003 and 2004, respectively. Um, but the I, I don't know if you were there when we were comparing them at the start, uh, Dizzy. The, compared to the PS2 version, which I played all my life, this Xbox version is just so beautiful and so much more playable today. It it upscales to 720p on Xbox 360, but even with like 480i, this is 480i, because Europe never got progressive scan on GameCube and Xbox, and it still looks amazing. Just look at this. I mean, okay, of course, compared to RE8, and it doesn't, but this is 2004. Aside from the 30 frames per second, I'm very satisfied with how it runs and how it handles itself. Mm-hmm. It does. It really does. I'm I'm amazed at what Xbox could do, because I played mostly PS2. I knew what GameCube could do, but damn, Xbox. Because this is the first time I'm actually playing a game on the original Xbox. All the original Xbox games, I played them on Xbox 360 through backwards compatibility. Which, unlike in the PS2, where it's hardware, it actually has parts from PS1. Uh, in the yeah, Xbox, does it through software emulation, and it's not perfect. Oh, nice, my man! That was my modern, most modern console until fairly recently when I got the 360. <laughs> but yeah, I understand. Trust me. Alrighty, folks, I should be retiring soon. It's almost midnight. 
Thank you for watching. Thanks for dropping by. Dizzy, thanks for the rate. Really appreciate it. John, you're asleep, I know. Uh, I wish you sleep well. Zombie, thanks for sticking around, man. Yeah, I have two 360s at the moment, but I love that console so much. It brought me into the new age, so yeah. Alrighty, folks, tomorrow, what's tomorrow? Tomorrow you can expect re resistance. Yeah, we're doing Resident Evil Resistance with Mutation and Team. And then Thursday back to Outbreak. Yeah, and then more Silent Hill and so on and so on. Thank you, everyone. Have a wonderful morning, day, or evening. See you next time. And let's actually see who we're going to raid. Let's see if anyone's online right now. Twitchy, twitchy, twitchy. Who's online? Huh. Tuna's online. Yeah, let's raid Tuna. Why not? Tuna's playing Code Veronica. Perfect! Amazing. Yeah, let's do that. Open Sesame. There we go. Oh, yeah, the timer. I always forget this is an automatic thing, but yeah. Doop. There you have it. Alrighty, everyone. I'll see you soon. Bye.